Thank you everyone. We have to do something in the school and this is the speech because of the case. Hope uh, you don't mind. Uh, now, I would like to get into the program right away. So I would like to invite uh, our international senior overseas congress president, the member of the India, to be on the stage. Thank you. Now I'd like to Invite uh, our West Coast uh, President, Working President, the Member for the Thank you. Thank you. Our California Chapter Chairman, Mr. Ramesh Kumar. And now I would like to invite our uh, Father of the Crown. Global Chamber, Indian Overseas Congress, Mr. Sarkis Rodaji, 
And now, I would like to invite Abhishek to Kriya's Bhagavad Ki Dukaan, Sri Rahul Gandhi. Thank you, everyone. Now, now I would like to invite California General Secretary to introduce. Any overseas Congress members ask me? Thank you. And we have a California General Secretary. This is Guru Dilip Singh. Thank you, everyone. So, I'd like so this is the Indian Overseas Congress team which is working day in day out across the United States, and uh, mostly focused on the West Coast. We have a working with the different security government uh, here on the stage. And um, I'm Sandeep Bangala. I'm the General Secretary of Indian Overseas Congress. Thank you, everyone. So I think I would not uh, like to waste any of your time. Because uh, on a great day, you have showed up here and showed up in the class. Thank you everyone for that. And now I would like to invite uh, uh, your Congress President, Mr. Mohinder Sikhian, to address the crowd. Thank you. Jodo, Jodo! Jodo, Jodo! Jodo, Jodo! Thank you so much. Mere sore Hindustan de vaso. Mere sore Hindustan de vaso. Vahe Kurti ka khalsa. Good evening. Sasi ka namaste. Mere inadi tarkan. Sadi jan jan. Sade desh ka pivik. Amare desh ka pivik. Future of India. Shri Lahul Gandhi ji. ਚੇਅਰਮੈਨ Hero, today's hero. Sandeep Nagala. Sandeep Nagala. Kumar Ji. Chairman California Chairman. And Dad Ji. Ah. Chan Behind the scene. He worked so hard. Now he is the chairman. Sandeep Nagala is working very hard. I came from New York and our virtual president comes from LA. We are guests. But they they both gentlemen did work very hard. Thank you so much. Aaj ki aaj ki baat kya karu main? Main baat ka rehne wala hu, baat ki baat sunata hu. Main baat ka rehne wala hu, main baat ki baat sunata hu. Mere desh ka, mere desh ka naujwan neta Sri Rahul Gandhi ji. Inhone September mein Bharat jo jata shuru ki thi. Kareeban 4000 kilometer, 136 days. The change totally the system of uh, Indian politics. And we uh, recently we have election in Karnataka. You, you know, I don't really know what happened. So this Karnataka election will open the door for us 2024. This Karnataka election opened the door for 2024. So my brothers and sisters, we need your support. Rahulji, come here and need your support. We need your love. Nafat ke bajaya me Mohamed ki dhikaan Jho ino ne Stambar ki ne ne bhiya saa Koli thi usu kanti ni uti Kaya tila rea hai Us pradha me Hamare paas aya hai Ab dil si dhikaan ke dhikaan Aap ke dhikaan ke dhikaan Welcome kar dhikaan Rahul ji Aaj Vite me Vite me ne Sabhi loog pada kaam Dhikaan jho ke hamare paas aya hai Ab dil Dil ki dhikaan ke dhikaan Aapka chukarana kar dhikaan Chaar jho ko Ab mega event kar rea hai Aapka Mega event the other center is the biggest center. We have 5,000 people who have been in the last year. We have been in the last year. Today, we have been in the last year. 
तो मेरे बॉस ने मेरे चेयरमैन साहब ने मेरे को अनाउंस किया कि दो मिनट से ज्यादा नहीं होता तो माई माई टू मिनट इज डन एंड नाउ आई इन्वाइट माई वर्किंग प्रेजिडेंट साहब को दर्जी प्लीज Thank you, dear everybody. I really, really, we are our team really appreciate you guys have felt up the hall and welcome with the uh, Nandi. And Raghuji ka khasa, Raghuji ka khasa. My best to stay at the play area. Now we, as if the play area, tan man tan man, do ki sabhi ko hoya. We want to work for you in any time you need, and not us or teams. in american people we need help to bring our our country back let's go make a great india again and uh, our southern california delegates here i really appreciate they came from uh, la 400 mile drive and also canada people came in and the uh, bay area came Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, thank you for our, your guys' support. And we are really, really appreciate it. Be pleased. You guys did wonderful job, and uh, we didn't expect it to turn up that fast. And uh, we have only what two weeks to to name everything. Uh, Sandeep Ji, Shyam Ji, we. I'm just playing. He's a he's a real player. It is a wonderful job in all the songs. And they are behind us, and Sandy has really, really, really poured us in the, in the back seat. And uh, our friend and then the same. And also, Grinder, he was working as a security, everything. He, uh, in the middle, middle of the night, uh, he called me, let's go do this tomorrow morning. And he came up in like three, four o'clock in the morning, and uh, Make that event very, very successful. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Hona. Thank you, Karna. Our five minutes to the Golden Committee. Thank you. Mr. Rahul Gandhi, IOC leaders. On the bias, I see members, Silicon Valley friends, ladies and gentlemen, UDP. It is indeed a special privilege and honor for me to be here to welcome Mr. Rahul Gandhi to the U.S. I would especially thank him for taking time out from his very busy schedule to not only come to the U.S. but agree to spend six days with us. He came in this morning at seven o'clock, and we had our first meeting at twelve. This is second meeting. We have a major event tomorrow. At Stanford University, and then we go to Washington D.C., where we have series of interactions with press, political leaders, think tank people, NGOs, business leaders, and then we go to New York. Where we have a lunch with a group of intellectuals. We have another lunch with a group of artisans, creative people, cultural people, and then we have a mega event that one that we talk about. So I'm delighted that we are all here together. Indian Overseas Congress is in 32 countries. Beside Middle East, U.S. and Canada happens to be a priority. 
would at least be a very large number of people from India. So, so Rahul Gandhi and I went to Middle East two years ago. We had his program at a cricket stadium. And you will be surprised to learn that 40,000 people came to listen to the We had 1,100 buses lined up. It is a major task whenever we organize an event for it. I get hundreds and hundreds of requests to meet him personally, talk to him, give me photo opportunity. And unfortunately, we have not been able to meet all the requests because of the time constraints. But I must say the enthusiasm during this visit is much more than I have ever seen before. Partly because of victory in Karnataka, and mainly because of his walk. He walked for 4,000 kilometers, 150 days. 13 states and met thousands and thousands of people. The images that I have seen were 50,000 people walk with him is absolutely mind boggling. I believe this has been a turning point in many ways, not only for our party, for Mr. Rahul Gandhi, and for India. We are here and we are visiting other foreign countries because we sincerely believe that Indian democracy is larger global public good. We have 1.4 billion people and our democracy has to be vibrant, alive. People like me worry about the fact that our institutions are captured. Our civil society is not allowed to function, more as watchdog, and we have lost rational, logical conversation. You see on Indian television what goes on, and you wonder what will happen to the next generation of Indians when they come into the workforce, how they think about the future of India. I worry a lot about what is going on in India. And I'm sure many of you feel the same way. And we want to have this broader conversation with large number of people at all. Because democracy is going through some strains in many parts of the world. We had in the US four years of confusion. We are still not done with it. Countries like Turkey, even to some extent Mexico, Hungary, and I can go on and on with the list, where democracy is going through a serious challenge, partly because of social media, because everybody and his brother has opinion about everything. And everybody is giving you advice on what to do, how to do. Even those who can't find a job. As this took advice for the Prime Minister of the And I must give you this little example. Allow me to take a minute. You know, in Rajiv Gandhi era, I had gone to Madhya Pradesh, and Jairam Ramesh was with me, and we were at the airport. And some young man was staring at me. I saw him in a crowd. Same young man came to Chief Minister's house outside. Same young man came to Governor's house. And while we were leaving Gopal, he was at the airport. So I told Jairam, I said, Jairam, take that guy. Have a talk to him. So I called him. He came to me. And I said, You have been staring at me everywhere. 
what's the problem? He said, sir, I'm so happy that you spotted me. Wow. <laughs> he said, I have this letter in which I have listed everything that Rajiv Gandhi should do. And that's interesting. He said, what is it? He said, I have outlined a complete plan for the nation. And if Rajiv Gandhi would just follow this, he will be prime minister for 50 years. I said, that's very interesting. What do you do? He said, I'm looking for a job. <laughs> <laughs> Only in India you find people and he has the facts. And he sincerely believed that he knows how to solve prime minister's problem. But he can't get a job. <laughs> But today in India, job is a major sickness, major crisis. We are not creating the kind of jobs we need to create. Tomorrow we, we have a plan to visit a group of experts to Sean to discuss AI. On one hand, new technology is going to eliminate jobs. On the other hand, we need a lot many more jobs. So our challenges are very special. And we need young minds like Rahul to lead the country. We need someone with open mind. We need someone who has broader exposure, global experience, and that's the reason we are all here, meeting and interacting with large number of people. I want to thank all of you for taking time from your busy schedule to come and meet with us. I know that the road ahead is pretty complicated. It's not that simple. Because in people's mind in India, something has just come in, which is hard to get rid of. That India belongs only to Hindus and India. Our idea of India is very different. I was born in a small little private village in Odisha during British Raj. And right in front of my house was a Muslim, on left was Jain, on right was Sadarji, and the back was tribal Oriya. And we all lived together like family. No one ever thought that this fellow is Muslim and that fellow is Sikh. They were all uncles and cousins. We all played together. That idea of India is being protected. And to me, that is the core idea of India. Diversity, inclusion, truth, trust, love. All of these ideas. All of these ideas are in time. And it works. At my age, it really hurts, believe me. Because I felt when I will get old, the dream that we all had as little children of India will be a reality. We have made a lot of progress in the last 75 years in technology. The fact that many of you are here, including me, is because India gave us the education at very low cost. The credit goes to our founding father, Pandit Nehru, and others who had the vision to build IIT, IIM, laboratories, space programs, atomic energy, and Rajiv Gandhi give push to IT and telecom. I had a chance to work with him. And I will never forget the fact that he gave meaning to my life. My life had no meaning except being an engineer. He had the political will not only to give meaning to my own life, but create jobs for millions and millions of us. <laughs> and then when Prime Minister Modi said that nothing got done for 70 years, it hurts. But that's okay. 
because I'm used to listening to lies for the last many years. So, I have nothing against impunity. My problem is the very core idea of India that I grew up with is being challenged. So, with this, I want to invite the great son of India. I want to invite the young leader to tell us a little bit about his journey for 4,000 kilometers. I want you to learn a little bit about how he could do it. What did it meant to him? And then tell us a little bit about what keeps him going? What keeps him awake at night? And what is his view of the world and India going forward? Thank you. children for the song they sang. It was some very good I'm very glad. Some months ago we started a walk from Kanyakumari to Kashmir. Prior to walking, we were finding that the normal tools that we used to use for politics, conversations like this, public meetings, were simply not working anymore. All the instruments that we needed to do politics in India. They were controlled by the PJT and the RSS. You know, people are threatened. Cases are put to people. Agencies are used on people. So we also are finding that in some way, it had become quite difficult to act politically. And that's why we decided to walk from the southernmost tip of India to Srinagar. And when we started, I thought, okay, they can get out there. After five or six days, we realized that actually walking 4,000 kilometers is not an easy thing. <laughs> And I had an old knee injury that started to act up. So I said, now I'm in real trouble because there's no choice. One has to walk and I'm having quite a lot of pain. And then quite a surprising thing happened. Which is I started noticing that after walking 25 kilometers. 25 kilometers is more than half a marathon. So after walking two, three weeks, every day 25 kilometers, I suddenly realized one well, afternoon, it's pain, but I'm not feeling tired at all. I get up in the morning, six o'clock we used to start, and we used to end walking at about 7.38 in the evening. 
then I started asking people around me, "Why? What is happening? Are you Everybody is saying, "Why is the Nandu?" It's very strange. They must be in the house. And I realized that actually, what was going on was that it was not us that was walking. It was India that was walking with us. The large mass of people who were coming, all religions, all communities, everybody, kids, they were creating an atmosphere of love and affection when nobody was feeling that. Almost as if everybody was walking together. And that's where we came up with the idea. Nafrat ke bazaar mein mohabbat ki dukaan kuli. Has had these giants. 
Adi Chakra Chaya, you have it. I, every single one of them said, listen to each other, be respectful, not just of your own religion, not just of your own language, not just of your own culture, be respectful for all cultures, all religions, all languages, because they are in fact the same. And the assault that is taking place in India, it's taking place on our way of life. Sam Petroda has said that he grew up with all people living happily, different languages, different religions, and that is what is being attacked. Also, the tradition in India, and again something leaders like Guru Nanak Ji, Basavana Ji, Gandhi Ji, emphasized was not to be under the impression that you know everything, that the world is too big too complicated for any one person to think that he understands everything that he knows it. <laughs> and so really that is the disease that Sam, that Sam talked about right. That is the disease that we have a group of people in India who are absolutely convinced that they know everything. In fact, I think they think maybe they know even more than God. <laughs> they could they could sit down with God and have a conversation and explain to him, you know, about what is going on. And of course, our prime minister is one such person. If you sat Modi ji down next to God, Modi ji would start explaining to God how the universe. <laughs>